Hi guys, <laughs> I'm very excited in today's video. So today's video is going to be a full face of old favorites, but not just my old favorites, like old iconic cult favorites here on YouTube. We are taking it way back, way back to like the start of YouTube here. We are gonna be trying on some nostalgic makeup today, my favorite. I did a similar video like this about a year ago, but I was mainly focused on stuff that I used to really love back in the day. Actually, this, this video is full of stuff I really loved back in the day. But I'm also talking about stuff that was just really popular on YouTube in general. And I gotta say, I am in love with the way my makeup turned out today. My skin looks so smooth and glowy and beautiful and I am truly in love with everything I put on. And it's crazy because some things were even better than I remember them. So, very exciting video. I can't wait to dive in, but before I do, I have something so exciting to share with you guys. So, I don't know if you guys know this, but Light Slacker has teamed up with Sol de Janeiro to come out with this exclusive limited edition little set right here where you get the amazing Sol de Janeiro hand cream and the amazing Sol de Janeiro nail polish. That's right, nail polish. We teamed up with Sol de Janeiro to create the Sol de Janeiro color, the iconic Sol de Janeiro Sunny Delight Yummy Mangoey Yellow that you see on all of their packaging. We have created that nail polish. And as you can already guess, it is the nail polish I'm wearing on my nails right now. The color is called Heart and Soul, like Soul, like S-O-L. And this is what it looks like. It is our iconic Light Slacker formula, but it has the Sol de Janeiro logo on the front. And this color was so fun to create. We really worked closely with Soul to create this color. Like we sent it to them and they approved it. Like they went through a couple different yellows until we got to the perfect Soul color. And it's truly such a fun Fun, unique amazing kind of yellow we don't have a yellow in our collection that looks anything like this this is a very like sunny delight mango juicy yellow very warm and sunshiny super super flattering just an absolutely beautiful nail polish but the little duo also comes with their new reformulated hand cream which I honestly love so much more than their original hand cream and of course of course their hand cream smells like heaven Oh my gosh, that Sol de Janeiro scent is so freaking iconic. It's formulated with really, really good ingredients like capuacu butter, I hope I'm saying that right, Brazilian nut, squalene, which is a big one that's really hydrating, and a lot of other ingredients that give you like that intense hydration. And it also has really good ingredients in here that help like nourish your cuticles, which is really amazing. So if you haven't tried their newer formula, maybe you wanna check it out in this little duo. And it is available now on the Sol de Janeiro website. I'm so, so proud of it, so excited for this. It was it was so fun to partner with them and it's super affordable this little duo is $23 and you get a lot of product it's a nice hefty hand cream that you can throw in your bag it's like a good size where you get enough but it's not too big to where you can't throw it in your bag it's like really really easy to travel with and seriously so nourishing like such a good hand cream and it was really fun to partner with them with this little manicure kind of set because they're also a vegan and cruelty free brand and they're very careful about their ingredient formulations just like we are over at Light Slacker. You know, we're free of all the harmful toxins that you can find in other leading nail polish brands. We're vegan, we're cruelty free, all that good stuff. We thought it was the perfect little partnership and I'm really, really excited for you guys to check it out. Like I said, it is exclusive to the Sol de Janeiro website and it launches on October 7th. I'm pretty sure when you're watching this video, this is now currently available. So definitely go check it out. I'm gonna leave the link, I'm gonna leave it all down below below in the description. So definitely check out the new Brazilian Touch reformulated hand cream and the Heart and Soul nail polish, which we made with so much love. I think the name is so perfect because we did put our heart and soul into it. So I hope you guys love this little duo and let me know when you get it in the mail. Let me know what you think. So yeah, without further ado, let's get into this video. Okay, so we're gonna kick it super old school with the L'Oreal Magic Lumi Light Infusing Primer. I haven't used this in years. I actually had to buy a new one because I didn't have my old one. Rightfully so. I believe I bought this when I first started my YouTube channel, like back in 2013. Oh my gosh, 2023 is not that far away. <laughs> I've been on YouTube for almost 10 years. But back in the day, I really, really loved the L'Oreal Light Infusing Magic Lumi Primer because I remember it just giving my skin the, oh, I gotta shake this. That was gross. It gave my skin like the most beautiful pearly finish, but it was like nice and slippy. I don't know, I used to really, re what's going on? I'm only getting water here. 
Okay, I had to pump it out like 10 times before the creamy white stuff um, started coming out normally. Uh, but we're good now, we're good now, we're good now. See? So yeah, I just uh, really used to like this a lot. And I'm kind of excited because I haven't used it in years. So I'm very curious to see if I still really like it. Actually, you know what? It's not as slippy as I remember it. It actually sinks right into the skin. Like I can barely feel it on my face. It honestly just gives you like an overall pearly glow. It almost, it's a little white casty, right? Or am I crazy? Like it kind of made my face look a little bit lighter, but I like that it has that really pretty shine, yet it sinks right in. Like I can't even feel it. Interesting, it's not very moisturizing. Why do I remember it being like moisturizing? I don't know, but I like it. So far, so good. Okay, so we're staying on the Lumi train here, folks. I'm gonna be using this bad boy for foundation. Please ignore the color. I don't know what I was thinking. I used to wear the shade True Beige, right? This is not my shade. However, I used to love the freaking True Match Lumi foundation. I remember when this came out, YouTube went freaking crazy. The beauty community on YouTube went literally insane because the L'Oreal regular True Match foundation was like a cult classic, a favorite for years and years and years. I'm sure there are some of you who still use the L'Oreal True Match to this day. So when the True Match Lumi came out, us dry bitches went nuts. And I remember really, really liking it. But I'm gonna cheat a little bit today and I'm gonna mix it with my infallible fresh wear because you know, like, come on. I'm gonna look ridiculous. I need to match myself a little bit more. So I'm just gonna add a little drop of this. Nothing too crazy. So I'm just gonna mix in a little bit of that infallible, just a smidge. I think it's still gonna be a little bit too deep for me. Yeah, absolutely. But I tried not to add too much of the infallible, but you know how it goes. We'll add a little bronzer. We'll make it work. I'm really liking already. Already, I like that combo. The True Match Lumi was always really nice because there's something on my face that smells really strong. <laughs> and I think it's the Magic Lumi primer. It's giving me like Pond's Cream vibes. Not loving that scent, not loving that scent. By the way, I'm using the Liss Beauty Brush. I love this for foundation and it's pink, it's so cute. I'm obsessed with this combo right now. Besides the color <laughs> being a little off, I really love how these two foundations mix. It doesn't feel greasy or slippy. It feels very, very lightweight, but it kind of has like that combination. Kind of has like a semi-luminous look. I love it. Who remembers this concealer? I haven't even opened it yet. I still have it in the packaging. You know what's so funny? Gabby was actually doing my makeup the other day for a light slacker photo shoot and she was doing my makeup and she was using this concealer on me and I was like, what is it? 2014? But she's like, girl, I still use this. I love this. And I was like, man, I need to get me some of that because I haven't used it in years. So, by the way, this is the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Eraser Concealer. How long has it been since you heard someone say Maybelline Instant Age Rewind? Isn't that freaking nuts? Does everybody freaking remember this? This is like Prime YouTube right here, folks. Prime Beauty YouTube. I honestly don't even remember how this looks. I remember it was like a sheer concealer, very lightweight, fresh. Dude, I even remember that people were taking this sponge off. I'm like using it like that back in the day. Okay, so I'm just gonna do, you know, a typical triangle under the eyes. Oh, this is very light compared to my face. But, oh, oh, that's very old school of me anyway. You remember back in the day, people used to have like Super, super light under eyes. We are channeling 2015 today, folks. It's actually very brightening. Wow, that like instantly brightened and it's so easy to blend. Oh my God, I forgot how easy it was to just blend right in. It's so much more like satin matte than I thought it was. Why did I remember this concealer being like, almost like shiny? It's not at all and the coverage is better than I thought it was. What? I gotta say, I like that concealer. Okay, so I got a couple options when it comes to eyes. I thought I'd really, really take it back, like throw you to the very beginning of YouTube, like what, 2007, 2008? I was watching makeup tutorials with this eyeshadow palette when I was in high school. That's how freaking old this shit is. This is the Wet n Wild Vanity Palette. I'm sure you guys can probably find this on Amazon still today, I'm not sure. I mean, it's definitely old as balls and you probably shouldn't use it anymore, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna. Talk about like a cult following on YouTube, guys. Like back in the day, 
okay? Everyone and their mother was using the Wet n Wild Vanity Palette. And it's so nuts because it really is just like the perfect everyday palette. This like matte creamy shade, like these three here, on this side, seriously amazing everyday colors. It's like you really didn't need anything else and people loved it. Tell me why. Tell me why Wet n Wild would discontinue or like stop making something that was so freaking loved. I will never understand. And what was always so amazing about this palette was truly like the quality of these eyeshadows. They're drugstore, but they blend so well. They're so smooth, so good. If anyone's wondering, I still smell the Pond's night cream on my face. Don't know what it is, but it's there. Okay, so before I use some of the other shades in this palette, do you guys remember my love for the NARS Duo in Is Old? Dude. Oh my god, this is like the newer packaging. It used to come like in a very different, like rounded packaging, and mine was beat up and I cannot find it anywhere, but I had this like newer one laying around. I used to use this duo like every single day. I would wear this all over the lid and like this color, like closer to the inner corners and that's it, mascara and go. This is Kathleen in an eyeshadow. I will tell you like, I don't wear coppers that much like these days, but oh my gosh, in my early 20s, I was obsessed with a copper eye, I mean, does anybody remember MAC Amber Lights? This was my favorite eyeshadow in high school, guys. My number one eyeshadow, I mean, my, my, my literal YouTube channel is named after this eyeshadow. So if that doesn't tell you that this was my favorite thing in the whole world, I don't know what does. MAC Amber Lights, a classic. I'm actually just gonna add a very, very light wash of this shade from the Isolde Duo because I mainly wanna use like the best palette of all time. Seriously, so smooth, so easy to work with. Always such a pleasure to work with you, darling. No matter how old you are. Really quickly, I'm gonna curl my lashes and I'm gonna pop on some mascara that I honestly haven't used in forever. I tried to get my Kiko Extra Sculpt Volume Mascara for this video because I used to freaking love that mascara so much. It was literally my favorite, but I haven't repurchased it. And I definitely should. That was like the best. But we're gonna kick it really old school with the L'Oreal Telescopic, Teles, Telescopic Carbon Black Mascara. This was, you know that this mascara instantly reminds me of Carly Bible? Does anybody else like think of her whenever they use this. This was her go-to mascara back in the day. I feel like she didn't use anything else. I don't know how old this is. I don't know how long it's been sitting in my drawer. I don't know, I don't know. So wish me luck. Damn, I forgot how good that mascara was. It's like banger after banger in this video. <laughs> and I knew they were all good, but I'm like, I like my makeup. Ignore the mascara that I got on my lid, you know. It's quite the lengthening mascara, so I messed up a little bit. But okay, the eyes are done, love it. Now we can move on to bronzer. I have a couple bronzers to share with you guys. I don't know which one I'm gonna use. 
I'm definitely not gonna use this one because it is old as dirt, but I definitely wanted to share it with you guys. I don't remember if I showed you this bronzer when I did this video like a year ago, but I probably did. It's honestly one of the makeup products that I've held on to the longest. Do you guys remember when I bought this bronzer? If you remember when I bought this bronzer, like if you've been around for that long, oh my gosh. I love you, I appreciate you, I see you, and you're the best, thank you. But I bought this bronzer like at the start of my YouTube channel, I bought it at Sephora. It came out with like their summer collection, their like Sol de Rio summer collection back in the day. It used to smell so much stronger, but the scent has honestly faded throughout, throughout the years. But it was my favorite bronzer ever, dude. It was the most beautiful color, it was seriously amazing. I love this so much. But the Too Faced Sweethearts Bronzer, the Baked Luminous Glow Bronzer in Sweet Tea. This was my shit back in the day, okay? I loved this. This is like a newer one. I beat the crap out of my old one. But I used to love this bronzer because it was like a shimmery bronzer, but still kind of like a neutral undertone. So I felt like I could contour, but also give myself a glow with that. I used to love this. Another old tried and true and old faithful. Do you remember my love for the Girlactic Cobble Bronzer? Oh my god, I used to use this all the time as well. The color is stunning, and I love the formula. It's like nice and soft matte. I think I'm gonna use like a combo of these two. Gosh, I love this color. Such a good bronzer. So smooth. I need to use that more often. It's such a good color. I'm not sure you can tell now. Like, I know that didn't add much of a difference because we already contoured with the cobble bronzer, but it adds a little bit of a glow there, like a glowy tan. I don't know. I love it. I love it. Love it. Love it. Love it. Love it. Okay, really quickly, this doesn't match the blush I'm about to use, but I want to add just a little bit of my beloved hot sand highlight. Do you guys remember when I was obsessed with the NARS hot sand highlight, dude? I bought so many of these duos. It's just like such a beautiful like soft seashell pink highlight that just looks so incredibly natural. Like it honestly looks like skin. It's not like glossy or anything. It's not metallic. You don't see it sitting on the face. And so I just want to add a little bit of that like sandwiched under the blush I'm going to use because the blush is very warm and this highlight is more pinky. <sighs> but it's so pretty. Now I'm going to quickly throw on some blush. Guys, do you remember when I was obsessed with the Sephora Tangerine Tease blush. Do you remember? Tangerine Tease from Sephora. I used to be addicted to this blush, guys. It was like my favorite. It's like orangey. You know how I feel about orange blushes? But like shimmery, but not like shimmery, like a sheen. Oh, like a true orange tangerine sheen. And I used to talk about it all the time. Oh my God, like back in the day, like 2014, 2015. It honestly is such a pretty blush because it's like a really natural way to wear orange blush since it does have like this really pretty sheeny side. Like this side is a little bit more matte and this side has like that glowy finish. Oh my gosh, they probably don't even make this anymore, right? I would assume a lot of these products aren't being made anymore. I mean, some of it is, of course, like some of it is too good for them to discontinue. But I honestly think this is one of those products that is no longer available. I wish it was. If it is, you need it. So immediately when I thought of this video, I thought of my Maybelline lip liner in the shade Tara. Tara? 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 T-A-U-R-A, -A, Tara. This was the Maybelline collab with Gigi Hadid and I was obsessed with this lip liner when it came out. Do you remember that? I was 
using this shit every day. Like I was obsessed with it, but of course it was limited edition, you can't get it anymore. And so I wanted to use one of these two guys cause I used to be obsessed with these. The MAC Etc lip liner, it was my go-to lip liner whenever I wanted to do like a really warm eyeshadow look. But then I also really, really loved the ColourPop BFF lip liner, which they still have these both. And I still highly recommend them. They're really, really great if you want like a nice, um, light nudes. This one is a lot warmer, like has a more like orangey undertone. It's not orange at all. I don't know why I said that. It's just warmer. Um, but I'm actually gonna pop on MAC, nope, ColourPop BFF. Oh my gosh, do you guys remember? I'm gonna take you back right here. This isn't necessarily an old favorite of mine. I mean, it is, but not on my YouTube channel. I used to use this even before, dude. I was using this like in high school. This is MAC Oyster Girl Lip Glass. Did you remember? This is literal like silver shine on the lips. It is pearly. Exactly what you think MAC Oyster Girl would look like. That's what this looks like. It is frosty. This screams Y2K, uh, like, I would never wear this today, but I still hold on to it because it is a classic and it's just very, very nostalgic. I also used to wear a uh, Buxom White Russian all the time, like when I first started my channel. Oh my gosh, I was obsessed with this gloss. I still really, really love the Buxom glosses. Some of the best glosses out there. They smell amazing and they give you that like tingly feeling without hurting. Their glosses are incredible. Do you remember my love for Stila Patina? Not just my love. It was up there with like Stila Kitten in terms of like a cult following. Remember that eyeshadow from Stila? The Patina lipstick? People were obsessed. And then I also wanted to throw this one in here because I thought I was going to use this one today. But I think this is like too pink. I think this is just too pink for me. These pinky lip colors, I'm not really into that much anymore. This is the Milani Nude Cream Lipstick and it's so crazy because I just got a whiff of it. Oh man. <laughs> That is such a nostalgic scent. Oh my God, that's like fake watermelon candy. Oh my God, this reminds me of Mississippi, guys. When I used to live there and I started my channel in the beginning and it was like so fun and simple, like life, you know, I was so young. Pick up a Milani lipstick tomorrow, next or next time you're in the store, okay? Pick this up and smell it and tell me that doesn't just take you back. I don't know which one I'm gonna use. You know what, I'm gonna throw on something totally random and different. This is the Nude Sticks um, Lip Color in Boho. This was my go-to like four years ago, okay? I was obsessed with NYX Boho, like obsessed with it. So I'm gonna use it. It's an old favorite. It might not be an old YouTube favorite, but it's an old Kathleen favorite, all right? Wait, 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 should we throw a white Russian on top of that? Why not, let's have fun with it. Oh my god, I haven't worn this lip gloss in forever. That also takes me right back. Nostalgia is like a funny feeling, huh? It's like good and bad. Gosh, this gloss is so freaking good, man. That little minty tingle, it's just so good. Um, so hey guys, I realized after that I never filmed an outro to this video. Um, so that's what I'm doing right now. Thank you so much for watching. I love you guys. That completes this video. I said that a little bit backwards, but you know, please subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you in my next video. <laughs> Bye.